Hello and welcome back to another Scratch series on Drupal Studios. Today we're going to be covering and trying to make to the best of our abilities a nice little RPG game on Scratch. In this first first episode of the series, that I have no idea how many episodes there will be, in this video we're going to be covering movement and redesigning uh, some backdrops and making the game overall look nice. So uh, I'm going to rename the title of the project to Scratch. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Yeah, I did. Scratch RPG. And there we go. I'm now going to rename our sprite to. main C. Uh, that C does stand for character. Make sure he's zero, 00. Very nice size. size sorry. That's going to be remaining at a nice little 50. Uh, is that too small? No, I think that is perfectly fine. Let's just uh, recenter him. Beautiful. And let's get this movement started so what we want to do is do go over to events and green player click drag this over like so uh, then we want to go to the control panel grab a forever move that in there if then we want to grab that in there duplicate them let me stop that uh, and duplicate it once more right at the top so now we have you should have for if then statements. Uh, then you want to go over to sensing, uh, go down to key space pressed, drag one of these blocks in every single space that is available, and then we want to go down and use W A S. D. There are movements, but what if they don't like using WASD, let's say? Then that is completely fine. Let's just drag these out here. Let's go to operators. Let's drag our four OR blocks in here. And see, uh, then we want to duplicate everything and put it in our thing. So we can actually just delete everything and just duplicate the first thing if I'm being honest. Make our life a bit easier. There we go. W, let's just change this one to A. S. And then a nice little um, uh, what's going on here? D, uh, and then we can actually change these two up, left, down, right. There we go. So now we can use our arrow keys and WASD to move around. Obviously, we haven't coded the movement just yet. That is what we will do right now. Alright, so what we want to do is code the movement right now. So first of all, we're going to focus on the left and right movement, and then we will do the up and down. So what we want to do is go over to direction. First of all, this bit is really important if you want your game to look nicer. So direction, we want to make sure it is focused in the middle here, this button here, the left and right one. Left slash right, make sure that is on. Make sure it's highlighted blue. Then what we want to do is go over to our change x by 10. This is our left and right on the axes. Uh, as you can see here, x is left and right. And we're going to change x by 10. We want to drag this into our if A or left arrow pressed. And we want to do the same for D. <clears throat> now obviously if we click A it will move right. And if we want to go D, 
it will also go right. We want to change that, so double click here, get in front of the 10 on the A block, and just put a nice minus sign there. Now, our character will move left instead of right. Now, obviously, he is moving a bit quickly, so we can just adjust the speed by changing the number 10 into, let's say, a 6. Same can be done for here, move that into a 6. Now he moves a bit more slowly. Now we will make it change position so we can make him change, make him face into different positions. As we can see here, point in direction. We want two of these right here. And for the A1, make sure that it is facing. 90 degrees you can choose this you can choose to do this with the little clock here or you can just put another minus here either way as long as this point in direction says minus 90 you should be fine so now if we click a he will move left or facing left click d he will move right facing right you could also do the same clicking the arrow keys once we've done that, we can now move on to coding the up and down movement. This part, this part is quite simple. All we want to do is grab the change y by 10 code. Uh, let's drag two of these, put one in w and put one in s. Then all we need to do is change the s by minus. We're also going to change the 10 to a 6. Same for w. So now we have a positive and minus 6. Now if we click play, we can now go up and down, left and right. This code also works for going diagonally like so, which is really neat. This also works for the arrow keys. And bingo. If you want, this is your... Uh, script this is your key movement script this is your like main movement script however if you don't want this let me just disconnect this so pretend this isn't there right let's just uh, zoom out a bit never mind that's my mistake uh, pretend this isn't here if we wanted to do some more important coding not important but if you want to do some like less complex coding you want to go to the events, grab your when green flag clicked, control, forever, grab your if then block. Same principle as this. Go to sensing, uh, get your mouse down, put that in there so it looks like this. Go to motion, and you want to glide one sex to random position. Change this by clicking on random position, change that to mouse pointer, and now he will move wherever we click. This is good, however, obviously he isn't facing the direction we need. So if we go ahead and uh, point towards mouse pointer, we click this now. It doesn't work because we've changed the direction here. But if you do want this to work, uh, you will have to do um, uh, none of these because it won't work it won't face towards so ignore all of this this wouldn't work if you want it to face the direction this is just for mouse clicking movement but we don't care about that in a nice RPG this is what we care about because this is more advanced even though they are both incredibly simple and easy to do um, and I guess that will do it for our first RPG episode Sorry this episode has been kind of, um, I guess, like ups and downs with my commentary and my explaining on what's going on. I haven't done a video in a quite a long time. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the first video on the RPG. Uh, this script can be used in many different ways as well. So it can be used for different types of games. You can take out the up and down movements 
by just simply doing this. Boom, the up and down movement's now gone, so now it can only move left and right, up and down. It can't move up and down, sorry, it can only move left and right. If you want to add a jump, that is very simple as well. All you need to do is uh, grab another one of these, put it at the bottom, let me just move this one out of the way. Uh, same as this one. Uh, and you want to do just get rid of this, get rid of this. If uh, now I believe space key space pressed, you want to do change y by your jump height. So for me, that would be 5. You want weight 0. Point, to know 2 seconds. Let's just duplicate them. Let me delete that. Uh, and you want to change this by minus mi minus five. So now, if we click space, as you can see our character will jump. Not by much, but they will jump. But we don't want jumping because this is an RPG, 2D RPG. We just want basic movement. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.